hello guys we are back with our next tutorial in this tutorial let's see all about photo transistor so basically we are we have just learned about photodiode right so basically from the from the beside words like photo what's that diode or a transistor you need to consider that so basically a diode is something like this right okay for that you give the intensity that's nothing but our light i'll be calling it as intensity guys sorry for that i'm just habituated for that word okay so basically our photo transistor so photo transistor is just like an ordinary bjt bjt is nothing but bijunctional transistor guys it's going to be covered in our second unit okay so i didn't discuss it yet right so basically if bjt has three terminals guys basically a collector base and emitter so the symbol will be like this okay so this is a bjt okay guys so now it is similar to bjt but without a base terminal see here there is no base right so in the place of base we will be having our intensity that's not our light that's nothing but our light so now i hope everyone is now clear with the diagram okay guys so a photo transistor is a three layer semiconducting device which has a light sensitive base region so here that's really missing so that's we can just write it in that statement okay that's fine so the base sends the light and convert it the base sends this is what i call as sense guys so that's going to take the light and convert it into the current which flows between the collector and the emitter so if the light falls here it's going in between collector and emitter right okay so basically the construction of photo transistor is similar to ordinary transistor except the base terminal this is a noted point guys you need to remember it whatever may happen you need to write that point that's really important in photo transistor okay so in photo transistor the base terminal is not provided instead of the base instead of the base current the light instead of the base terminal the light energy is taken input the base terminal okay the light energy is taken as the input at that location okay this location that happens okay guys so now i hope everyone got a small idea so basically bjt is of two forms guys npn and pnp so in this example i have just took that it is pnp guys okay that's fine there is no issues or no problems in that thing guys okay so basically we'll be having a pnp we took pnp type in this so this is a pn diode pn and np so these are nothing but two diodes you can just assume them as two diodes guys okay so each diode will be having a junction right so in between two different types of uh, materials or different types of doped material doped semiconductors they will be having a junction so this will be our junction e and this will be our junction c so that's the reason why i gave j e j c so always the order will be emitter base collector remember emitter base collector okay so i told you that we'll be giving our light intensity on base right i hope everyone remember that okay so basically we'll be giving a power supply to emitter and we're going to get the output or something like current from ic that is nothing but a collector so let us assume that there is a load so that if there is a large amount of current coming out it's going to stop that okay okay guys so basically there is an equation from bjt this is an equation guys this is an equation which you will be finding in common base i think so in reverse saturation current you will be finding this equation so basically as light falls on the jc junction so this is our main junction right so on that junction the light is going to fall so as light falls on the jc junction current in okay junction it carries will be generated by the photons so now again the same process as if in the previous pn diode pn photodiode guys so the same process occurs so we'll be assuming the photon current as ip okay that's photon current that's it so basically the equation ic is equals to h fe plus 1 into ic nod is nothing but the reverse saturation current plus 
the junction current in JC that is due to R photons plus IP. So this will be our new equation of the current that we gonna get newly. So this extra part is going to give up, sum up and make a huge difference guys. Okay. So now I hope everyone got a small idea on this. So now let us go through the characteristic equation guys. Okay. So basically the characteristic equations are like this. So basically as you increase the voltage, the current varies like this for 10 milli. What is the units of light? Do anyone know that? So basically the units of light is candela guys. We will be calling it as CD. Okay. So it depends on voltage and current. So as we increase voltage at some constant CD value. Okay. So let us assume that 10 is our CD value. So at that position it's going to be like this. So at 20 it's going to be like this. At 30 it's going to be like this. At 40 it's going to be like that. So there will be a small 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 slight changes in that. Okay guys. So now I hope everyone is now clear with our first characteristic equation. So now let us go through our second, e second characteristic equation that is nothing but illumination level or you can say that CD level that's it. That is what we uh, told that that is candela okay that's fine. I thought the, at that time I thought that illumination level I used as a unit okay that's fine. So candela versus IB. IB is nothing but okay sorry for that. IB is nothing but our base current guys. So with respect to our base current so it is going to be slightly starting and then it's going to be linear graph guys as you increase the that power of illumination or the light intensity IB will also be increasing in that order only okay guys so now I hope everyone got a small idea or a slight idea on photo transistor okay so if you want to know about the applications so for computer logic circuits and smoke detectors this is going to be used and relay and computer systems and radars which will be using in ships guys to know our navigation or like that. So I hope everyone is now clear with this. So in the next tutorial we will be going through the differences between photodiode and photo transistor. Guys even if you missed these tutorials that's fine but try to attend that tutorial. Thank you. Thanks for watching.